Hey guys, this is Ted from Ted's Emporium. Welcome to my new channel. Today I would like to bring you a review of this beautiful Gisela Maia wig. Um, it's called Ivanka Mono Long Lace. The color is 12 slash 26 plus 8, which is a beautiful medium brown, light brown with um, some blonde highlights and a darker root, which is very, very natural looking. And this is a synthetic wig. Um, it's not heat friendly, so please avoid um, any heat tools. Please beware of the barbecues and the ovens. And uh, so be very careful when approaching something really hot. I got this wig from um, Valentine Wigs in the UK. This was actually on sale, so I managed to get this as a absolutely fabulous deal, um, which is always great. So the overall length of um, Ivanka is um, 15 inches, pretty much all around. The bang is 15 inches, the crown down is 15 inches, the nape is 14 inches, which roughly measures the same as an overall length. It's straight style, but it has this um, lovely wavy end right at the bottom. So it looks, it falls really, really natural. It looks absolutely stunning. So let me give you a spin. So this is the front, obviously. This is my right side. This is from the back. The left side. So I'm quite short. I'm only five foot one. So it is quite long on me. Um, although it says it's 15 inches on me, it feels more like 18, almost seven, say 17, 18 inches roughly on me. Just hits just, be, just um, before the boobs. So it is very long on me. Now with any long wigs, what you want is to use your wide tooth comb to avoid the wig getting tangled because every long wig gets tangled and especially if it's a synthetic so use your white tooth comb to um, gently detangle from the bottom up make sure you do that on a regular basis to keep the wig nice and tangle free now this synthetic hair feels very very fine it's not like your John Renault or Rene of Paris um, fiber this feels really really fine it's it looks like European hair it's that that's fine so if you look after it hopefully it will last for a quite a long time so we have a lace front, scalloped lace front, which looks absolutely great when um, when it pushed off the face you can see it looks so natural it has this light um, layers at the front to cover any knotting it is one of the best lace fronts I've tried. One thing I'm a bit not disappointed, but obviously that explains why when it was maybe why it was on sale. Are those flyaways here? It's like loads of them. So um, it's something I need to um, potentially try to fix with some styling cream etc etc I did wash this wig yesterday I tried to um, see if, if with wash did those flyaways all time down they didn't quite as much 
so I will have to use some styling cream. Possibly the John Renault um, styling cream would do, do the trick. If not, get some scissors and cut them. But we, we will face that problem at another time. So, the rest of the cup, um, it has a full monotope. Very generous monotope. You can part it on whatever side you want. It looks very natural. The cup is wefted. It's an average cup, more of an average to petite size cup. I have got quite a smallish head. Um, my circumference is um, 21.25, which is more of a petite average size. But my um, other measurements are 12 inches from front to back and 12 inches from ear to ear. So quite, quite a small head. And the cup fits me really well. The ear taps come right where they should be. It's a perfect wig for an ear tag. The density on this wig is so natural. It looks like beautiful, natural long hair. Here is the other side. You put in an ear tag and it looks perfect. It's not bulky. It doesn't gather up around the ears. If, you, if you're looking for a low density wig, this um, only weighs 4.6 ounces, so it's on the lighter side. So as you can see, the ear tabs are very, very nice. Right there. You can always pull some of your natural hair on the sides if you want to blend it a bit more. It's a very nice wig, very nice. I have modified this cup. It is not how it comes. This is how I um, treat all my wigs when, I'm, when I know I'm keeping them. It is all you need if you still have some hair and you do like wearing a wig grip. My friends, to me, this is my way of securing my wigs. So, use your wefted cap, the monotop, the lace front, and here is my special wig grip feature. Now it sticks to your head, it doesn't move, it's guarantees your wig to be in place. At the back, you, I put a little, I sew in a little clip, wig clip, keeps it to the back of the hair, doesn't come off. You can even wear it in a ponytail if you want to. It works a treat. Very nice features. It is stretchy, so you will be able to get a bigger head in. It is really nice. I'll show you the mono top here you can see my hand underneath it looks absolutely spot on oh and here are some of those flyaways which i'm currently fighting with but hopefully with some product i will be able to tame them down so i hope you uh, enjoyed the review. Let me put it back on. Just pop it on. Push it back. Make sure your ear tabs are aligned. Clip it at the back. And voila! Hi right, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope it was helpful. If you want to hear more, let me know. Okay, guys. Bye.